Speaking of a movie that has no CGI though, <laughs> um, we move to a, a TV movie from 1998 called Lost Souls, which um, stars John Savage, which is a somewhat big-ish name, I think. Um, I mean, he's been in a lot of movies, so I'm assuming he's a bigger name. But um, it's a pretty, I guess, simple plot. The uh, family moves into a sort of like a home in the country. They have an autistic daughter, and some things happen throughout the movie. It seems like the deceased spirits of these two mortal girls are trying to communicate to the family through the autistic daughter. Um, and so the father's trying to figure out, hey, you know, what's going on? Hey, who killed these girls? And there's a whole little mystery thing going on here. So it's a, t- it's a television movie, which we have to keep in mind. That's going to maybe impact your opinion on it. So it's um it's not like high quality stuff. It's you know you can tell it's cheap, but I'll be honest. I think the movie has some charm to it. But but I I suspect this is probably going to be one of our biggest um disagreements. So what were your um thoughts on this one, Tracky? Well, hey, I liked it more than the evil. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it, it's I mean it, to me it's kind of your typical TV movie. There's nothing a whole lot exciting going on. If you really invested in the story you may get something out of it but uh it didn't really have any highlight moments for me there's nothing that i look back on and and think too positively about a certain scene i mean right now the only scene i can think of is when that guy offers to watch their son um and i'm all i'm thinking is as soon as he did that i'm thinking you're gonna get raped (laughs) yeah Uh, i mean but would you leave your kid with a random neighbor? I they, they kind of made it look like this, you know, there's something off about this guy. So, I, I mean, that's one thing I do think the movie does okay. Like a lot of the mystery type movies, they throw a lot of potential suspects out at you, and a lot of them seem like legitimate choices, such as this guy. Yeah, it just yeah, like I said, there's was, there was no moments in the movie that really stood out to me. It, it kind of like just. It just, like a lot of TV movies, they just kind of in cruise control. Or The one thing, like you said to me, is like uh, when we were we were talking about thriller movies at one point, and you said, <laughs> for you, thri- thrillers are kind of like horror movies that just aren't good enough to be horror movies, or like they're not intense enough to be horror movies, or so- something like that. Maybe you want to relay what you said. <laughs> no, I mean, that's um, pretty much what I said. I was just hoping people, people yeah. would forget that. But <laughs> and I think for the majority of TV movies, I have that sort of similar opinion that TV movies are just watered-down real movies. <laughs> I mean, um, <laughs> there have been some pretty good TV movies. Yeah. I, I probably have more fond memories of tv movies back when i was younger so movies that i would have watched when i was you know 10 11 12 maybe there's some movies out there i I can't really think off the top of my head but i know i know there's some out there but this is a first time watch for me and it yeah it it wasn't terrible but it just yeah there's just nothing that really stood out for me no i actually have seen this one once before which is actually um a theme for tonight. All of these movies I've actually only seen once before, so um, it's a nice um trivia question about Jake's. Uh, but um, and the only thing I actually remembered about this movie was the conclusion. You know, when we find out the you know we solve the mystery behind the killer, and I actually I you know I enjoy the ending. I think it um the first time I saw this movie sort of caught me by surprise because you know back then I was like a you know, a young guy who hasn't seen as many movies as I have now. Um, so I think it, you know, I think I think the mystery here is what really sort of draws me into it. And also something I just want to mention: the the whole aspect of you know this family dealing with an an autistic daughter. Um, I thought that had some like feeling to it. You know, when I was like a a kid that has some developmental issues going on, you know, I always takes just a bit more, you know, extra work to make sure you're doing the right stuff. And I thought the um, parents, um, I thought they really showed, like, a love in this movie, you know. It just sort of, it, it was sort of heartwarming almost, 
which I know some people might not want to see in like a horror movie, but again, hey, it's TV for you. So I, I sort of like that. It might not be, um, you know, your go-to thing, but I, I, I think there's some feeling here, and I, I appreciate that. The the lead actor, the father in the movie, there's something about him that just didn't do it for me. Like, it, I don't know if I believed him as being an actual concerned father. I, I, I don't know. There's something about it, his it, acting and his voice that... Yeah. It, it's, fu- it's funny. I actually... I I was okay with that guy. It's the mother who bothered me. <laughs> the the um I I have nothing against the um woman who played the mother. I mean I I don't know her. She's just some German woman. But um oh I, I, just some German woman. <laughs> <laughs> but um I I just I I, I did, she didn't do anything for me. So it's like a fifty fifty type thing. Mm. I think we can both agree though. That the um the kid the uh, young boy he was the bust here. Uh, no, no. Well, okay. I, <laughs> so n- n- none of them were, were the best. <laughs> so I'm going to throw this movie a a rating that might seem a lot higher than um what most people would give this. And just to I guess reiterate before, and I I really enjoy the mystery in this movie, even though it's like a sort of a watered down television movie type thing. I, I, I found it enjoyable. So I'm actually going to throw this movie an 8 out of 10. Uh, yeah. Uh, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. You're no. just going to add it out my rating. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to give it a 4. Hey, you're halfway there. It's, um... Yeah, it's your typical TV movie that's, uh... It just, if it had a few moments that really stood out to me more than someone banging on their door in the rain at <laughs> night and Hey that was spooky. Uh, yeah. I don't know. It I didn't really enjoy any of its high moments, so for me it didn't have any high moments, so I, I will say the reason I watched it when I was younger, I bought some like cheap D V D, you know, it has like four movies on it, and this happened to be one of the movies on it. Like the other, the other movies are like, you know, post two thousands horror movies, and they randomly threw on like a cheap nineties one to be the fourth movie. So that's how I ran into this. Well, if it's on a a cheap DVD, <laughs> you know hey, it's quality. There are sometimes pretty good movies on those DVDs. Case in point, Lost Souls. <laughs> uh, sometimes there's a diamond in the rough, but this isn't it. 